All right, boys and girls, today is Friday, November 19th, and I hope you guys are ready for the weekend. I know I'm ready for the weekend, and I know somebody else that's ready for the weekend, and that would be Wolfie here. So Wolfie is just, say hi, Wolfie. Say hi. Uh, Wolfie is ready for, Wolfie's ready for any day. He does, she doesn't care. So we're going to uh, learn some stuff again today, Friday, before we go into the weekend. And learning with Louie starts when, Wolfie? Right now. All right, boys and girls, how are you guys doing? I got a fun fact for you guys, which is kind of funny, but here's a fun fact. Did you know that porcupines can float on water? <laughs> I did not know that, and I'm actually visualizing a porcupine with his little spikes just kind of wobbling in the water and just floating there like a buoy. <laughs> so, fun fact of the day is Porcupine, porcupines can float. Hey boys and girls, our number of the day yesterday on Thursday was the number 15. Today is going to be the number 16. All right, a lot of good things happen on the 16th. There are uh, sweet 16s that happen. Um, 16 was a great uh, number for a quarterback that played for the 49ers back in the 80s. And uh, that is the number of the day, number 16. All right, guys, we have our letter of the day. Well, if yesterday was N, today's got to be O. All right, so O is our letter of the day, and O is for orange. All right, so do you remember orange, our color of the day a couple of weeks ago? Well, this is what an orange looks like. Okay, so this orange is so good. Orange juice, I love, 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 love orange juice in the morning with a really, really good breakfast, okay? So that's an orange, okay? O is the letter of the day, orange. Again, that's what an orange looks like. And O, that is the letter of the day. All right, guys, we have our friendly friend of the day. And our friendly friend of the day is kind of a little wacky one, but you see this one in a lot of farms. People have them as pets. Sometimes you'll see them uh, in the zoos as well, but the hen, all right? So the hen is the friendly friend of the day, and these guys are fast. They could run around and they flap their wings and they could juke, you know, kind of move and uh, shimmy their way around things if you're chasing them. So our friendly friend of the day is the hen. All right, boys and girls, so we are at... All right, boys and girls, so we are at story time, and today is Cookies Week. Can you guys see what kind of animal that is? Some of you guys have them as pets. Sometimes there's some of them that are just kind of wandering, you know, or down the street, stuff like that. But that's Mr. Cat right there, okay? Uh, or Mrs. Cat, Cookie, I would say it's probably a, a, a girl. Cookies Week, and this is by Cindy Ward and Tommy DePaulo. DePaulo, okay? So here we go, Cookies Week. Right off the bat, look, boom, she's already running away. She doesn't want to be talked about, but that's all right, you know what? It's story time. Oh, there she is right there, peekaboo, see that? All right, let's see, let's see what's going on in Cookies week all right so on monday cookie fell into the toilet now now why would cookie here just be all face down in a toilet they're not supposed to be there okay well, we're gonna find out so cookie fell into a toilet when on monday right all right let's see what happens next there was water everywhere. Well, no kidding. She was inside the toilet. But look at her. Look. Look at this closely. I'm sure that she was well-groomed. Look at the picture from the beginning. You see that? How nice and groomed she is? 
to this right here. Now she's a wet, soggy cat. And that's not good, right? And she got toilet paper going all over the place, so I would say that this, this cat cookie is making quite a mess. You see her right there? You still don't even see her. So Monday wasn't a good day for her. On Tuesday, Cookie knocked a plant off the windowsill. Now what's going on with Cookie? You know, I mean, it hasn't said anything if she can't see or anything, but she's throwing herself in toilets and now she's knocking over plants that are trying to get some sun and grow. There was dirt everywhere. Not only was there dirt, but look at that. There are paw prints all over the place. So Cookie, I don't know about Cookie. I don't think I'd have Cookie as a pet. The middle of the week, Wednesday, Cookie upset the trash can. Mmm, looks like she's trying to get in there to get some food. Okay, that's funny because look, well, look what's right there. See that? Those look like oranges to me. Mm-mm-mm. Oh boy, look at this. There was garbage everywhere. Now, if you look closely, who do you think's guilty? Who do you think did it? See that black tail? Yep, that's Cookie's tail. So Cookie made a mess on Wednesday. On Thursday, Cookie got stuck in a kitchen drawer. Now, I'm going to blame that on the uh, family because they left the drawer open and they could have closed the drawer. Unless this cat right here just magically opened up the drawer, which I wouldn't doubt they probably did. So, Cookie got stuck in the drawer on Thursday. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. There were pots and pans and dishes everywhere. And look who's trying to hide. Look at that. Under underneath the strainer the tail and the paw and she just knocked everything over mmm no 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 cookie is just not that type of cat on Friday Friday cookie ran into the closet before the door closed hmm. is she trying to get away you see her right there see her running trying to get away now she did four bad things already she's trying not to get in, get in trouble there were clothes everywhere. What is up with Cookie? What is this book per week? Mm, mm, mm. You want to talk about having a very, very bad week? You see that cat right there with the with that one eyeball? That cat right there is having probably the worst week because we're gonna find out what happens to this kitty cat named Cookie. She is just causing destruction and havoc. Oh boy! On Saturday. Cookie climbed the curtains. So she climbs the curtains. Look, obviously you know it's her because you can see her tail. But what do you think happens? Look at the curtains. See how they're nicely just hung up? Well, I'm afraid to go to the next page, but you know what? We have to find out what happened with Cookie. Oh boy, here we go. And Cookie went everywhere. Obviously, see, you see her paws are up. She's like doing one of these numbers right here as she's flying and falling down to the ground. Actually falling off with the uh, curtain too. So all there's left is Sunday. Let's see if she had a good day. Oh, tomorrow is Sunday. Hmm, now look at this one. You have Cookie right here and then you got a mouse. So this is, this is what I'm thinking what happened. I'm thinking that mouse right there was all in their house and Cookie was trying to get the mouse. Now this is what happens. If you have a, an exterminator or a uh, pest control person, they could take care of that little kitty cat and all the things that happened during the week wouldn't have happened. Or if you have a pet mouse or a pet rat then and it got away. I would have probably put this cat up and tried to find the cat the, or the uh, the mouse or the rat, okay? So it's not necessarily the cat's fault. I mean, I think the cat's trying to protect the family, you know, with this uh, with this mouse. So let's see what happens on Sunday. Mm. Well, 
at that. Maybe Cookie will rest. Now I can't, okay, so here's the mouse right here. Cookie is trying to rest. Look at that, one eye open, one eye closed. But look at that, maybe she was trying to go after the fly. I don't know if you can see it too good, but take a look at that image. So there's a fly that Cookie is keeping her eye on, really keeping an eye on. So she's trying to rest, but really can't. And then she goes and it looks like she just kind of hides away. And that's the end of it. Hmm. So I don't know, you have to kind of use your imagination as to what happened, uh, why Cookie was the way she was. Was she going after the fly? Was she going after the mouse or the rat? Um, I don't necessarily blame Cookie on this whole thing. There are things that could have been done to avoid all this stuff if you really think about it. But you know what, Cookie's weak. I don't know if she wants to repeat that again. So this is our story time of the day. Again, by Cindy Ward and Tommy DePaula, Cookie's Week. Mm, 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 mm. All right, boys and girls, so we are gonna go ahead and recap on what we learned today. We got some good stuff. So remember our number of the day was the number 16, okay? And remember I said sweet 16 is a good way to remember uh, the number 16. Our letter of the day was O, and O was for orange, and if you didn't know what an orange looks like, there it is right now, all right? And then our friendly friend of the day was the hen, all right? Very fast, very fast, very hard to catch. Uh, they are fun animals and that is our friendly friend of the day. Our story time was an interesting one, okay? You guys remember what happened during the week for Cookie. She was pretty much all over the place, not sure if she was trying to catch a fly or the mouse or what she was trying to do, but everything was chaotic. Everything was crazy, okay? So that was our story time of the book, and that is what we learned today here on Learning with Louie. All right, thank you guys for watching Learning with Louie here on this Friday. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I hope you guys have a great, great weekend ahead as there's more stuff that is going to be uh, coming out for Monday. Um, don't forget to like the channel and share, share, share. Uh, set your notifications to on and subscribe, all right? You guys have a safe, safe weekend and I will see you guys next week.